So I did a little bit of work uh, in between the last stream and this one. We've made a little bit of headway on the Enderman farm down this end. Uh, it's asymmetrical, which I don't know if I like. We may end up expanding this room here on the left, uh, but I like the way that things are looking on the right. It's just a matter of getting everything sorted, but I wanted to get the uh, enchanting table functioning before I start covering everything with carpet. So that's the mission right now. Uh, if you're new, this is the Citadel. It's a uh, survival Minecraft server where I do geeky stuff in Minecraft with my friends. And right now, this is the geeky thing that we've been working on. It's it's a solo project of just taking the ender pearls from the Enderman farm and scooting them out here and then all the way back down into a system and they go out into uh, the exit portal into the, uh, the overworld so we can all use them. Uh, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's been a unique build and this is freaky. It's glass, but It's it's very solid, but it looks very 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 freaky uh, and we have a enchanting table there, but There is no Bookshelves by it. So we need Some scaffolding blocks and probably some purper Probably some black concrete and probably some carpet. Oh wow, we don't have much for wool either. Let's grab that. And what else do we need on the top here? I think that might be it. So this is the temporary uh, setup, of course, because all of these need to be removed and replaced with bookshelves. I don't think it matters which way these go. It's same on all sides. And yes, I know we don't need to do um, the whole thing, but we want to have at least the 15 bookshelves. Oops, I just did that. The 15 bookshelves for um, the full level enchant. Like this. Get rid of all these. And I'm probably going to put a wood plank back right here just for consistency. Like I so. said. Uh, the next thing we need to do is cover this with carpet. I actually, I don't know if we're going to do, I wonder if I should do wool on top of this because we're going to have to put wool here. We're going to need to use some magenta wool. Uh, not here, but there because this will block the uh this will block the the enchant um what are these called glyphs i guess and then we can put this on top like this but i'm wondering if i want to go just straight um straight up from the edge rather than that pyramid i think i might want to go like straight up from it that seems like a better idea i just want to hide these bookshelves Because all of this is need is going to have to have like double carpet on it. So all of this stuff here, starting with the front edge, is going to be like double carpet, and then double carpet. But then here we'll have another double carpet. Well, it looks a little bit cooler than it's going to because that torch is with Optifine is putting out some some light. Uh, but that actually looks pretty good. That kind of reminds me some we could put we could put light up there, couldn't we? That's a happy accident. I never thought about that. So I think we can just go around this whole thing. It's a little overkill, but that's okay. I originally wanted to do this all lit from below, but this will light, I guess, this carpet stuff from below. It's a little bit too bright. I think it takes away from this. I kind of want this and these things to be the highlights. So while I think it was a good idea, maybe we won't do that. I believe I like 
the purper as the roof uh, with this break kind of in the middle here. So we're going to continue that because this stuff has to have a low ceiling to prevent the Enderman spawning. This is the tedious part of this, and I previously had a much smaller footprint to this build. So the fact that this is getting a double carpet treatment now that it's a much larger build, it's going to take up a lot more than I think I had just kicking around. So that is the enchantment thing installed, and I think if I've done it right, then we should still get max level enchants over here. Oh, so we're not getting the max enchant. That's weird. What did we do wrong? Well, I guess the easiest thing to do is just going to be to bust this right here. There's nothing but air. Do they have to have like an air thing above them? I guess these are in the way. Huh, okay. I didn't realize that both this and the block above it needed to be air. Well, fair enough. We'll just, um, because we can see what we're doing from down here, we'll just take these out. And then we'll use the shears. And we'll take these out. And now that should be back up to... Yeah, okay. So that's what it was. It was... Blocks in that space were blocking things. Interesting. If I put string there, does it do the same thing? I would imagine if it if if blocks do it, string probably does it too. Just curious now. Probably yes. Yep, look at that. Huh, well, you learned something new. I guess what I have to do here is this, and that's put this here and then have another tier of stuff. So it's gonna have more of a pyramid look, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's actually kind of, kind of cool looking, right? Not sure where that shadow is coming from. It's a little bit strange. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, this whole thing is going to look floaty and weird anyway. That's just the nature of it. Now, in the original thought that I had for this design, I had a two space gap here. I could do just one. This would have a window and this would not, or they could both not. I'm leaning, I'm leaning on moving this forward, this part right here. You can't see it. There's a, <laughs> there's some black concrete right there. It's really very, very difficult to see, but it is there. I know that we want to have black concrete down here. So this is like the level of the black concrete. So let's Get rid of that. Put the black concrete le there. And then there. And it looks like here would be the next one. I like having like a, a three wide door. I find that it, it gives a good transition. Gives you an opportunity to kind of frame stuff. Oh, thought I was going to be able to get that back. And then we can do this, this, and this. This is super hard to see for me. I can imagine you guys probably can't see this at all on Twitch. Torch bam. And hopefully that will help with the visuals. So I think that these should be on the same level, right? Yes, they look to be. So that means that this can come here to there to there probably going to remove this one and put black there like that that and like that i 
So that is like the front door, so to speak. And what that does is it gives us an opportunity uh, to figure out where we want this pathway to start because this has to be spawn proof or um, not spawn proof, but uh, teleport proof. These guys can't zip to it um, all the way out to there, to the end of that carpet. So it either has to be too low, which this currently is not, or it has to be covered in carpet, double carpet at that. I was hoping that I could do some glass stuff here, but I don't think that's going to work. I like the glass in the corners here. because This is this is kind of how I had the other the other build was like this. So you put that up in there. That up in there. So that I think is cool. It's this. That's the problem. Um, maybe the solution is to not have uh, not have these here. And instead, like this has to be here to hide the light, but maybe we can do something tricky by having that there. And I mean, this is just temporary, but like these still get lit up through that little crack. You're not going to be able to see it over there. We will be able to see it over on this side, though. Maybe. Not that we're really going to be over here much. Oh, you can see those. Okay. So they have to be one higher in order for them to not be seen. So that's one, two. So that's completely teleport proof for Enderman. So that's good. Then from here, we just have to end up doing like the double carpet thing. Uh, I guess what we could do is leave, leave the double carpet that we have in and then maybe tie it together with, I guess, stairs. Like we could probably just use stairs here. These I think are gonna have to be full purple blocks. So we'll grab those. I don't know if this, if this pillar thing is gonna stay. I guess we could just do, actually that's not a bad idea. We could probably just mimic that and use the pillars sideways like this. So that's that done. Put the carpet there for now. So from here we have to go, um, we have to go back down to this level and it can't be, I don't really, I don't really know what we can do here. I don't think we can do stairs. I think they can still teleport to stairs which is a problem. So does anybody in the chat room know if if I put stairs here leading up to this, if the Endermen can teleport to them? I know they can teleport onto slabs. If we're gonna leave it here like this temporarily, then I think instead of the pillars, what I would like to do is do what we've done in the other spots and do the pillars this way and do like a front facing one like that. So even if we do have to hop up here, it still looks correct. And I think at this point too, we're gonna ditch these out and just go with regular, just regular purple. Yes, they can teleport to stairs. Oh no, <laughs> hopes and dreams dashed. Okay, well, we don't have any stairs out there, so that's good. I guess we could put stairs here or something to have this go down while this goes down. Like if we put stairs right here in between these columns, we'd have to also pull the ceiling down to make sure that no matter what they can't spawn in. That could be one way to try and handle it. Um, I'd be okay with that. We could just put like an extra block. Like we could just do like a, oh, that's, a, that's not the right block. I want this. So we could do something like that, right? Which doesn't look, terrible but doesn't look great either we could maybe put end frames or item frames or something there i'm not sure what we could do there um to have that look correct uh we could use a wall maybe like a, an end stone wall not end stone sorry uh nether brick wall uh so these could be stairs and then as long as we brought that down that could be the solution 
So these go here like that, and then we have to shut them which means that we have to put something on top of them. Now we can do a lever with two bits of redstone. And then we can do carpet, or not carpet, uh, wool to hide it like that with carpet on top. And then same here. No Endermen can spawn here, which is good. Uh, they will eventually be dumped in there. So hopefully this is the right height that we can smack them at the back there and not get punched ourselves. Um, it may not work. I don't know. There's only one way to test it and we have to turn on the farm and it's not ready. So there's that. Uh, I do know that we have to put in the hoppers. So at this point, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a break and I'll come back and start doing some of the more technical stuff. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitch. It's just my name, Joel Duggan, I'm very easy to find. And I wanna point you towards joelduggan.com as well. Uh, it's where I have my illustration and design portfolio. I do a lot of art streams on Twitch as well. So if you like this, you might like some of the content that you find there. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys all next time.